Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. We are talking about what remains in stage five today. We are talking about this whole series. We're going through all the seven stages and we're talking about what remains. In five, a lot is lost, to be honest. Five is where you're losing, um, it's, it's where you're losing um, the ability to concentrate, to make concrete decisions, to do a lot of critical thinking. Um, you lose the ability to do some of your own self-care. You lose your continence. I mean, there's a lot that is lost um, in the, uh, along the stage of five. And I will put up here um, for five, right up here, um, where um, that you can watch um, the losses. But what remains in five is similar to what remains across the stages. There is joy to be found. There is, there's still passion about things. Um, they might be passionate about music. They might be passionate about um, westerns on TV. They might be passionate about watching the news. They might be passionate about uh, planting flowers or harvesting vegetables or you know, whatever um, you have found by doing the, the gather to, whatever you have found that they are um, still passionate about and what they still love to talk about, really pour into that. If they love matchbox cars, I mean, get them all the matchbox cars. If they love Elvis, watch everything Elvis ever did, you certainly can through YouTube now. You can just watch Elvis over and over and over. Or Anne Margaret, um, or um, Bing Crosby, or I mean, just whatever that they enjoy. I have a lady um, in my practice that loves aquariums, and the, the person said, you know, I just cannot keep up with an aquarium. I cannot take care of her. She's five, six now. Um, and I cannot take care of her and take care of a fish tank. I just cannot do it. They found a video um, on YouTube that is, it's like a close-up of an aquarium, and they turn that on, and she watches that all day. Now, there's several different videos, so she can watch several different aquariums, and she just loves it. So, YouTube is absolutely your friend. I love YouTube. That's why I use it as one of my main platforms. This and Facebook is it's pretty much what I use. Um, for my for my business and, and you know my passion of talking about dementia and helping folks with dementia, um, but YouTube you can watch people bake cakes, you can watch race cars, you can watch people refinish your furniture, you can watch people uh, plant gardens and redecorate their house, you can watch people clean their house. I watch people clean their house when I need to be. When I'm upset or I'm, you know, a little bit anxious and I just need something that's just brain candy, I watch people clean their house. It is something about having a dirty house and then having a clean house that is so comforting to me. So any of those things, any of those interests that remain, you need to foster and, and, and have them enjoy that. And if they watch the same video over and over and over and over again, that is okay. Who else does that? A toddler. <laughs> um, when my daughter was uh, growing up, it was Barney. I watched Barney until I felt like I could fall off the edge of the earth. Um, and, you know, but it was Barney, 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 Barney. And it did not matter what Barney and the kids were talking about. My daughter was all about it and wanted to watch it. So that's what you have to do now is find whatever they are into and allow them to watch it and, and enjoy it. They are not going to know that they have seen that same episode. <laughs> um, you will, um, but you just have to hang in there with it and, and, and let, them, um, let them enjoy what they can. Um, it's important for them to have things that they love and they look forward to. Um, and so in stage five, um, whatever joy remains um, there, um, you know, just bring that out as, as much as you can. Um, you know, I still enjoy having little jokes and little, they don't, in five, they don't understand humor as well. They don't understand the nuances of humor and, and they don't get, um, they don't get, um, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, I can't think of the word, but anyway, you know, but not knock jokes, they get, you know, you know, they just, you have to be very, you know, you know, why did the chicken cross the road, <laughs> you know, kind of thing to get to the other side. Um, they enjoy dancing and 
music and simple puzzles and coloring. Um, and don't think that those things are beneath them. They're right where they're supposed to be in their in their cognition. You know, little you know, you know, twelve piece puzzles are not beneath them. That's what their mind, that's what their brain can manage. And so allow for that. Don't think, oh well, I just can't, I can't give Mama a puzzle of Donald Duck because that's beneath her. Um, it's not beneath her dignity to be engaged. So you have to think of it that way. So. That's what I would say. We're going to talk about six and seven next. And um, if you have any questions, um, let me know down below. Also, if you have if you have not found a group, um, a support group near you, please come on over to our Facebook support group. It's just over there on Facebook at Dementia with Grace Caregiver Support Group. And we're just a group of folks. We're a thousand something strong now that just commiserate and celebrate and answer each other's questions and. And it's just a great, it's a great group of people um, that are going through exactly what you're going through. I know if you're like me, you have people that love you and want to support you, but the people that don't know exactly what you're going through, they can love you all they want to, but it just makes a difference to be able to come onto that group and say, Mama has sang the same song all day long and I want to crawl into a hole. <laughs> and they're like, we got you, sister. We totally understand. Been there, done that. We know. Put you some earphones in and let her sing. You know, it makes a huge difference. So y'all come on over there and join us, okay? All right, I'll see you in the next one. Y'all say the hat again. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah.